Hi everybody, this is Aina. In this video, I'll share great vegan food and restaurants in Tokyo. Let's go! Japan has so much amazing food, such as sushi, ramen, and etc. We usually have any food, so we don't really care about vegan or not. So most of the restaurants offer meat and seafood in general. However, there are great vegan restaurants in Tokyo too. So in this video, I'll share 8 vegan food and restaurants. I hope this video helps your vegan life in Tokyo. Okay, let's get started. Please subscribe my channel. Let me share number one famous Japanese food for us, sushi. Chai Makobi at Shiodome offers this great vegan sushi. It also offers other vegan food and some are included seafood. Today, I'd like to share seasonal limited edition vegan sushi which is California roll with soy meat. Inside of the restaurant is very open and wide. It's very relaxed place so we can enjoy largely our own time with great food. This is California roll with soy meat. It looks just normal sushi but everything is from plant based product. Roll sushi looks really nice. Some ingredients are nicely wrapped by dried seaweed with sesame. Other veggies look nice too. Some are boiled, and some other are grilled or deep fried. So we can enjoy various types of veggies and soup too. Tomato, cucumber, avocado, and soy meat are in raw sushi. It looks very good. Veggies are really fresh and juicy. I feel like it's even tastier than common raw sushi. This is really good. Roasted oil sesame is sprinkled on brown rice and dried seaweed powder is inside. This is soy meat. It's chewy and flavorful. I guess it's close to chicken. Chopped cucumber, tomato and avocado are in sushi. Every topping is really fresh and moist. Sushi is normally healthy food but this is even healthier. Soup and other veggies are also really good. Tomato based soup tastes and smells wonderful. All food on the dish tastes simple and light. Food is slightly seasoned by salt, pepper, vinegar, soy sauce, etc. It has gentle taste but it tastes rich enough to fill up our appetite. Way of cooking is also different so we don't get bored of tasting and having through the dish even all food are from vegetables. It's the well structured dish. Let's move on to the next vegan food which is ramen. Masanawa in Harajuku serves very interesting style vegan ramen. It also offers non plant based ramen too, but its ramen is pretty unusual ramen that we have in common. Today, I'll own and share veggie pink beef ramen. And this is veggie pink beef ramen. It looks so unique. Because it's from pink beets, soup is pink. It smells completely different from Japanese style ramen. This is like laksa noodles from Southeast Asia. Soup is slightly thick and this is so fragrant of some spices and herbs. Soup stock is from plant based product. So I thought it wouldn't taste punchy but no it's not. This is really flavorful. As I said, it tastes like lax noodles. It's really creamy coconut milk. Unfortunately, this is not Japanese style ramen but this is really good. Noodles are very chewy and these are very much with pink veg soup. This is good, more than I expected. Noodles are fat and flat noodles. This ramen is so much feeling to have even though vegan ramen. It has super true different flavor and I feel like I'm eating just standard ramen. Other toppings are soy meat, leafy greens, flat onion, tomato, and kikurage. Toppings are also unusual but every topping is well balanced with ramen. Basanova is the one where we can have interesting taste vegan ramen in Harajuku. Third food is hamburger. Of course, this is vegan too. Umami Burger offers this amazing hamburger. It also serves normal Thai beef and chicken hamburger. And of course, some side dishes such as french fries and salad too. Drinks are also a good lineup. We can select alcohol and desserts and shake too. Today, I'm going to share vegan hamburger called Diaz. Inside of the shop is very open and wide. It's like a cafe space. We can relax and have great hamburger in the shop. Speaking of hamburger, it's Coke, so I got one. I love Coke so much, but no Pepsi. Which one do you like, Pepsi or Coke? Let me know in the comment box. This is vegan hamburger, the ass. 
It's pretty expensive for a burger compared to McDonald's. It costs 1628 yen. Character of umami burger, you is bland on the top of the bun. Green sauce and plant based meat patty are sandwiched. This is so unique. I was doubting that plant based patty wouldn't be good, but this burger is amazing. I can't believe that patty doesn't contain any meat. It tastes brilliant. Plant based patty is more like beef patty and it's really meaty and juicy. It could be even tastier than beef patty. Green sauce is green goddess dressing. This is so tasty. The balance between mayonnaise, sour cream, and other condiments are excellent. Buns are really fluffy. Smashed vegan patty is really crispy and flavorful. This is better than famous hamburger chain. This is absolutely more than meat patty. We can't miss vegan burger at umami burger. Coming next is curry. This is really healthy spiced vegan curry. We can have it at Mr. Farmer. This is a vegan restaurant. All the food is vegan and we can select various kinds of vegetable meals. We need to order by our mobile phone but English is on the instruction so I guess you won't get in trouble with your orders. Select your language and put your numbers of people to go next. We can have salad, sandwich, hamburger, rice bowl, vegan set, some drinks, etc. Today, I share vegan curry. Vegan curry is quite uncommon in Japan, so this is really good opportunity to have vegan curry in my life. I'm excited what curry I can have. Inside of the restaurant is very relaxed and cozy space. I feel like time flies so slow. Other customers comfortably take their time and have meals in the shop. Water is great. This is for free in Japan. Fresh fruits are in water, so we can have fruits flavored water. Which one would you like? Here comes my vegan curry, which is called vegan medicinal curry. Brown rice, rich taste of spice curry with some beans. Some pickled veggies and fresh leafy grains also come with curry. Balance is really nice. Curry smells amazing. It's so fragrant of spices. It's pretty thick and chunky veggies are pretty much in curry sauce. Brown rice is nicely cut. It's very healthy food too. It has great nutrition. Popping texture is wonderful. Curry tastes really good. It's quite spicy more than I expected. So if you are not good at spicy food, this may be too hot. This is not like Japanese style mild curry. It's more like spice and stewed vegetable sauce curry. Pickled veggies are a good accent for curry. It slightly tastes sour and each veggie is very crunchy. Leafy grains are fresh and low. Dressing tastes really refreshed and this is also very crispy. We can enjoy various types of cooked veggies. These veggies are simply tasty, I guess, compared to other restaurants. It's such a vegetable specialized shop. It costs more than other shops, but I think it's really worth to have if you love veggies. It's the vegan cafe and it's close to Harajuku. Don't miss it! Let's switch back to a Japanese dish. Next vegan food is tendon. We can have this wonderful food in Margot Vegan at Asakusa. Same as Mr. Farmer. This is also a vegan shop. All food is vegan. We can have some kinds of Japanese dishes such as Japanese plate, curry, salad, some side dishes, ice cream and desserts, and drinks. Today, I'll share a very famous Japanese dish, tendon. And this is vegan tendon. Various kinds of vegetables are nicely deep fried. It's really crispy and tasty. Vegetables are shiitake mushroom, carrot, green pepper, eggplant, squash, okura, lotus root, and sweet potato. Speaking of tendon, we usually use some seafood and shrimp is mandatory topping but this is vegan tendon. No seafood, only plant-based ingredients are top on rice. Each tempura isn't seasoned at all. It's simply deep fried so we can enjoy pure flavor of veggies. Brown rice is very common for vegan food, so it is. I love its texture. We normally have tendon sauce for tendon, but this is sugar and alcohol free, so we simply have it with salt. We can also buy some natural food and products in the shop. This is great. Let me share another Japanese teishoku. Teishoku is something like a kobo. We can have Japanese vegan teishoku at Nezunoya. We can select today's special lunch set or onigiri rice bowl set. 
we can order extra dishes and drinks too. Food is all vegan. Even broth for soup is from vegetables. Today, I'll of course have a special lunch set. And this is special lunch set. Brown rice with ground black sesame, a cup of hot tea, deep fried mashed potato, side dishes and miso soup come as a combo. Brown rice is very moist and chewy. It slightly tastes sweet of brown rice. It makes me feel really good. I'll do so, brown rice again. It tastes different from white rice. I think it's more flavorful. Soup has very gentle taste. It tastes very light, but it's full flavor of boiled veggies. This is nice. Onion, Japanese radish, cabbage, okura, and deep fried tofu are in miso soup. Veggies are really soft. Taste doesn't claim at all. All the balance is equal. This is great. Deep fried veggies, croquettes are very crispy and hot. Potato and squash are really savory. There are two different croquettes we can have. One is mashed potato with corn. Potato is very smooth, but outside is very deep white. Crispy yet smooth texture is marvelous. Another one is mashed squash. Squash is roughly smashed, so it's pretty chunky. Contrast between smooth potato and chunky squash are well balanced. Both don't get seasoned much, so we can enjoy natural flavor of potato and squash. Other side dishes. Veggies are also really tasty. These are not strongly seasoned. Every one of food brings out the best in the ingredients used to make it. If you love Japanese local and traditional style meal, Nezunaya is the one that we must visit and have vegan Japanese teshuku. Nezunaya also has a green grocer. We can buy excellent veggies and plant-based products. Try them out. Let me share amazing dish next. Next plant-based dish is omurice. Two Foods in Ginza offers plant-based egg with rice. This is the menu. Two Foods only offers plant-based foods such as hamburger, omelette rice, rice bowl, curry, sweets and drinks. There's a QR code on the table, so scan it to order by our mobile phone. Select numbers of people and language to go next. Briefly check the guidance and skip to next. I'm going to order omelette rice with demi glaze sauce. Confirm and send order to complete our order. Inside of the restaurant is very casual space. It's like a food court. People can sit anywhere we want and have food. This is Eva Egg Omelette Rice with demi glaze sauce. This is amazing! I can't believe that this crumbled egg is from plant-based egg. It tastes completely the same as normal omelette rice. This is awesome! Who knows this is plant-based egg? demi glaze sauce tastes really rich. It tastes fresh, sweet and sour. It's well stewed and so thick. Eva egg looks completely the same as scramble egg. I can understand how it's made from plant-based product. Rice is seasoned by ketchup. There's soy milk maybe, I can see. Once I have omelet rice with sauce, this is absolutely magical. No one can realize that this is plant-based omelette rice. Egg is called Eva egg. If you are curious about it, please have a look at it. Last vegan food that I would like to share is pancake. Heinz of Pinginza offers wonderful vegan pancake. It also offers vegan lunch fare such as Japanese dish, pancake dish, or hashed beef rice. We can also have some drinks. All food is vegan, so we can feel free to enjoy great vegetable meals. Restaurant area is not that big, but it's very relaxed place. We can have wonderful vegan meals at quiet and cozy space. This is heavenly vegan pancake. Fluffy pancake and some flesh and juicy fruits also come together. Surface of pancake is very big, so it's slightly crispy. But inside of pancake is really soft and chewy. It's so bouncy. It's plant-based pancake, but it's really moist yet flaky. This is so good. Fresh soy milk and blueberry sauce makes pancake even sweeter and tastier. This pancake is nothing different from non-vegan pancake. That much, heavenly vegan pancake is very enjoyable. The combination between ice cream and sweet salad are even amazing. It's honestly incredible. 
Einsoft sells vegan sweets for takeaway too. Listen and shop. Both are great. I shared eight vegan food in Tokyo. Every single dish was awesome. I can strongly recommend them. I hope you love them too. There are not many vegan restaurants in Tokyo, so if you know great vegan restaurants, please share them in the comment box. Thank you for watching the video till the end. I hope this video helps your vegan life in Japan. I hope you enjoy my video. These are my recommendation videos that you may like. Please click like button and subscribe my YouTube channel and follow my social medias. This is all of today. Have a good day and good night. Bye!